Hello, everyone, and welcome to Your Daily Five. I am Jane Galena, also known as Airplane Jane, and you can find me pretty much everywhere. I'm out there sharing my information to help fellow traders. So you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, my website, cjintrade.com, and also a leader on the Ticker Talker platform, Jane Galena right there. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at jane at cjanetrade.com. All right, first on my list today is going to be Shopify. I'm really enjoying this setup. Shopify had a nice healthy pullback, a little bit of consolidation. Looks as if it's primed for that next wave up to the upside. If you're using Elliott Wave, potentially that third wave as long as we can hold 1380 as support. I'm going to give Shopify my next target of 1800. Before when we were breaking out above 1200, I said, look for that target of 1400. We've met that, exceeded it, and looking for that next leg up to roughly 1800. When we look at the Shopify seasonality, you'll see we do tend to have the drawdown in the last week and a half of February. And then we have a nice upward run in March. So looking for that seasonality to hold true once we break out of that downward triangle. Next up is going to be take two interactive software. Same scenario, we are setting up, we've had a nice consolidation range using the equi volume. It really looks like once we break that 200 level on this descending triangle, we're going to have a nice move up, likely 10% up to 220. We need to hold that 192.50 level as support. So I would use that personally as risk and continue to hold it likely up to 220. Again, we do have an amazing seasonality set up for take two interactive. So I would wait for that breakout of the descending triangle before entering into the trade. But it looks like this is a great time to get into take two overall for the year, running up through the end of May. Next one, Nike. We did talk about Nike a couple of times in the past when it was back down at 130. Sure enough, it came back up and tested that 145 level. And now it looks like an inverted head and shoulders. So looking for a close on the daily above 146 and likely a target of $15 added on. So 160 would be my target for Nike as a potential swing trade with that inverted head and shoulders setup. Next up, Tesla. It's the stock that so many people don't understand and they all want to short it. It does look as if it sort of has an M scenario. However, it also has a descending triangle. So knowing that the market tends to be bullish overall, we did bounce off of that 50 simple moving average and we have support roughly at 777. If we can break out of this descending wedge, I would look for an additional $110 move and looking for it to hit up over a hundred, excuse me, over 900. So looking for that move again, potentially 950 is actually going to be my target all the way to the upside as we have had that drawdown roughly of 125 points. So would look for that move up to 950. Last on my list today is going to be Apple. Apple has a nice reversal pattern set up from yesterday. We've bounced off of the 127.70 level. Again, we have that descending triangle. There's so many people that are anticipating that we might have a further drawdown in the market, repeat of seasonality based on last year. If we look at what happened last year, today, the market was crashing with the news of COVID. Today, we're bouncing. We do have monthly options that are expiring. It could be a crazy day, but looking at it, it looks as if this market has had a little drawdown, big volume yesterday on the bottom of that drawdown, and we could be setting up for a bigger move to the upside. In fact, when we're looking at Apple, we've pretty much come back to the same moving average on the weekly for the drawdown in October, and we shot up to new highs. So I'm actually looking for Apple to surge up and hit roughly 148 when we break out of this downward wedge. And I would use 124.50 
as my risk management point, giving it a little bit of wiggle room just below that 127.70 and look for it to really bounce to the upside. Again, I'm also a leader at Ticker Talker. This is my profile there. If you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me at jane at cjanetrade.com. I also provide trade alerts every morning on Ticker Talker. Thank you for watching your Daily Five. And as I always like to say, carpe profit, seize those profits one trade at a time. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.